Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! One of Britain's worst paedophiles could be facing life in prison after admitting 71 charges of child sex abuse. 30-year-old Richard Huckle, who's from Kent, abused children aged between 6 months and 12 years while travelling in Malaysia and Cambodia. Huckle has already been told he could face multiple life terms. Angus Crawford reports. He was a Sunday school teacher a friend to their families and he liked to take pictures. Richard Huckle sought out children in the poorest areas of Kuala Lumpur. He took them on days out, bought them food, gained their trust. How often did he come to the house? But it's also the way he got close to this girl who he sexually abused for years. He took videos of me naked, and I told him I wanted to go home to my mom. I didn't realize what he was doing, because I was only three years old. How do you feel about him now? I don't want him to come back to Malaysia. I want him in prison forever. He targeted the vulnerable, getting to know them, staying in the slums for days on end. Huckle was often at this woman's home. She suspected nothing, but she says when her granddaughter was just 12, he asked to marry the child. We traced his path through the city. He trained to be an English teacher. Here he is in a promotional video for the British Council. He went to charities and orphanages where he helped out and targeted children. Look, his name in a visitor's book. We can't show the other entries. That day, he brought one of his victims. A pattern emerged. Days out, always with a camera. The children called him uncle, but all too often, it was a prelude to rape and abuse. All that was captured on film. Tens of thousands of images and videos. He then posted them in secret forums on the so-called dark web. Huckle also wrote a self-help guide for other would-be abusers called Paedophiles and Poverty. It's not often that you get intimate access inside a police sting that brings... He was finally identified by police in Australia in one of the biggest ever investigations into sex offenders on the so-called dark web. Paul Griffiths is a former British detective now working in Queensland. How great a danger did he pose to children? If he hadn't been arrested, if he hadn't have been taken out of circulation, then he would still be offending now, I'm quite sure. And he certainly struck me as the kind of person who would uh, make the most of any opportunity that arose. So if he had the opportunity to offend against the child, then he would take that opportunity. Huckle's victims are left traumatised, abused by a man who said he'd come to help them. He used his faith to seek them out and then betrayed them. Angus Crawford, BBC News, Kuala Lumpur. Oh, my.